I'm the Queen of Information. The Holy Royal Family of Good Human Beings doing their best. Okay. Pictures of them doing their best. The sounds of music. Sounds of music. M-U-S-I-C. Culture. True. True culture. Eve, mother of all living, Rogers and Hammerstein, Oscar Hammerstein. The king of creation, Bob Dylan, is standing holding an Oscar. He just won. Oscar Hammerstein, in the form of a girl, Timothy Birdsong, is standing beside him in the picture. Okay, Rogers. Sing, Mother, Odeed, Got Her To, Emergency Room, Bellevue. She recovered. That's Singbird Song and his mother, T. Michelle Bird Song. Singbird Song was King Arthur. The Knighting of King Arthur. That's his record label, Sing Records. It says, Perfect Loving. So, at age nine, she believed, at age nine, she believed she could save the world. Stevie Wonder and Edwin, Edwin Birdsong's wife, Eve, E.T., extraterrestrial, angel from the ocean of light. Elizabeth I, royalty, Queen of England. Dylan's double, mild red, Michelle. Dylan loved Emma Young, a grain of sand. Dylan's hit every grain of sand. Every grain of sand represents an orgasm of a human being. Emma Young, T. Michelle Birdsong was listening to Bob Dylan sing Every Grain of Sand. She was in bed. She started dancing, moving, scrolling. She never felt like that before she listened to him play with his fingers and strum with his thumb and his fingers and she come, she said come. She was so thrilled, thrilled to her core in the Big Apple, listening to Bob Dylan on her smartphone that she conceived a baby. Ian grew all bird song. He's in her womb. He, is, he was Jesus Christ. This is King George V, Milton Harris, her father, when she was Princess Mary, Countess of Harcourt. He was also her husband when she was Scheherazade. He was a king that she amused so well for a thousand and one days of Arabian Nights tale that he let her live and he when she was nine years old this life she prayed to God that he would send her father. He sent her Father Milton and her husband and he taught her because he had been blind John Milton and his fingers are utterly sensitive 
and he's humble and he taught her to receive pleasuring, to relax and accept. So when Bob Dylan's record came on, her father husband had prepared her to receive his love coming over the airwaves. Dylan, I, loyal angel. Dylan was the most loyal angel in heaven. Loves angel. Emma Young, mild red, Michelle, and our son. This is ordered. Good, the good, enter the earth, the earth, holy royal family of Americans, good human beings, angels from heaven. Her father was also a guru, one of the Sikh gurus, Bob Dylan was a second Sikh guru. Tim Michelle was a first Sikh guru, the founder of Sikhism. Sing Birdsong was a fifth Sikh guru. Tim Michelle, Eve's son, Wolf Smith, was a fourth Sikh guru. These are our ones who grew you, Eve. The Happy Feast of St. Francis of Assisi, St. Francis, Robin Michelle Birdsong, Queen Victoria, Azura from the Garden of Eden, wife of Seth from the Garden of Eden, sister of Ewan from the Garden of Eden, whose husband is, I got it here, her husband is Cain, the misunderstood, uh, Captain Devin Gangading. This is disciple, Christ's disciple, Saint Bartholomew. Saint Christopher saved to Michelle from being homeless again with his sweetness and his humility, talking her into not going back to the, her husband who ruined her life in the first place. He also arranged as a program director here for her to see, to go to Broadway and see the Circus de Soleil. The most amazing acrobatic team in the world. And she was thrilled. And she yelled. And she, the screams she was so happy to experience such excellency. That was Chris. This is Father Tom. He's a treasurer here at St. Francis of Assisi Residence 3. Robin Birdsong is St. Francis of Assisi. And Father Tom is one of the founders. Father John and Father John are the other two founders. He gave to Michelle Birdsong and the other residents here Christmas presents, these wonderful pens. She's a writer. She never has too many pens. And he gave her a wonderful Merry Christmas. Okay. And this is Joel Osteen, another father they sent her. It was Moses. He gives her inspiration two or three times a day. He, he helps her to continue living until she reached the point of uh, heaven on earth beginning. When she was a child, she, she longed to have lived during the time of the Bible, the time of Jesus Christ. So they said, all right. And here she lives with the disciples of Jesus.